Hey there, and welcome to autodraw.com. And today we're going to create a sunflower similar to that of Vincent van Gogh. I love his style because it looks like you can almost touch the texture. Can you see all that rough texture of the paint that he put on there? It's just really neat, and I like that they're not all alike. Uh, some have already lost their petals. Some are in, you know, starting to have lost a lot of them. Some have lost all of them. Um, I like the way some are leaning down. Some are looking at you. Some are looking away from you. Uh, it's really an interesting painting. And uh, I like the way he uses a couple of colors just barely. Look at the blue. Can you find the blue on his painting? Here's a line of blue right here on his vase and where he signed his name. And right over here, right here is a little more blue. So that's the only blue that you see there. What's another color that you hardly see any of? You see the rust color here? There's a little in this flower. Uh, there's a little in that flower. It's kind of a little bit dark, not quite as dark over here. Which brings us to black. There's hardly any black here. There's a lot over here, and there's a circle over here, and there's just a touch over there. I like the way he kind of uses those just a little bit to kind of um, break up all that mustardy color that you see there. Well, today we're just going to draw a sunflower. So uh, you get your choice of sunflowers and you don't have to use any that you see that Vincent van Gogh did but we're gonna draw a, a sunflower or two you can add as many as you want to but we're using autodraw.com uh, so remember when you start with autodraw.com up here at the three lines uh, you can pick the size of paper that you want I think I just picked the center no, this, I think I want this small one here we go so it's nice and tall and uh, this is the auto draw, so if I draw something, it's going to give me an exact copy. I want to just draw it, okay? So I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to put in a background color first. So, hmm, let's, I'm going to put in a background color of blue. Boy, is that bright. Let's see what that looks like. All right, now we're going to go back to our draw and i'm going to find a different green i like this green i'm going to make some stems so up here at the top remember this shows you how wide your lines are so the more i bring it down here to the bottom the smaller they get and here's my favorite button the undo button okay so i'm going to make a couple of stems i'm going to make a stem that's going to go over here and up here at the top of our um, of our flower, um, the top of the stem is going to be a little bit bigger. Now, if you get a weird thing that happens like this, somehow the select button got picked. I don't know why. Just hit the draw button and it goes away. So I don't want you to freak out that what in the world just happened. All right, so I'm going to let me make another stem. I'm going to make two stems. One's going to be bigger than the other one. Okay? Now, kind of made a neat X there, didn't I? Okay. So, let's see. I'm going to make uh, I'm going to make one that has kind of that brownish center. So, let me see if I can find that brownish color. Now, if you decide, I really don't want that brownish center. I want a different color. You do your color. All right, so I'm going to make my center here. Is it perfect? Uh, no, it is not. And I'm going to put, uh, let's see, I'm going to get ready for my, my, I'm going to make some petals. So let's find a neat color for my petals. Where'd you go? Here we go. All right, so let's look at some of these petals. So that looks kind of like a diamond. Some of these are kind of geometric-ish, and some of them are very organic-looking shapes, aren't they? Okay, some have small petals, some have long petals. 
So uh, you decide, you know, sometimes they have small ones and long ones in there. So how do you want yours to look? So I'm going to, ooh, let me, let me break this. Let me get a little bit smaller. So I'm going to make some petals. You know what? I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay, do you see what I did? This little magnifying glass, it's got the plus, it zooms in. So when you touch it, up here at the top, you can get way close in, or a little bit closer in. Now, don't forget, when you're zoomed in enough, I'm going to go back to my pencil. Let me make this just a little bit bigger. There we go. So now I can fill in these a little bit better. Now, all of my little petals don't have to be the same. And I'm making some fun little lines. Now, you know, maybe you want some little ones in there too. Go for it. Uh, maybe you've got some that are, are leaning over. Okay. Um, there's one in here. Look at this one right here. Look how he's bending into in front of that. Yeah. Okay. So try out some interesting looking petals. Is it okay if you cover up the green? Well, yeah, because see now, now our petals are in front of our, um, our stamp. Isn't that cool? Now that's kind of different. I've got some long ones. I've got some short ones. You know what? I'm going to get... I like the way this has a little bit of that reddish color and then that kind of a blackish center. This one's kind of different. So I want to try some of that. So let me try. Let's see. Let's try some of this dark color. I'm going to make some dark color. In here. And I'm just going to kind of wiggle it a little bit. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh, skip it. All right, I'm going to try a little black. Now I'm going to make it really thin, tiny. There. And there's my really interesting looking one. Okay, now, so I've got one pet. Oh, you know what? Look at these green leaves. Did you notice that this stem is different color than the green leaves? Uh-huh. So let me go find a darker, a different green. Um, let's try this one. Is that different? Yeah, that's different. Okay, so I'm make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to make a couple of green, green leaves in here. This is what holds our flower petals in as they grow. Got a little wild and hairy there, but that's okay. Now remember, if you're like, oh, I can't see very well what I'm doing, then you can use the zoom button, remember? And we can zoom in a little bit more to see what we're doing. I'm going to add a couple, couple of guys. Got to go back to my pencil. Add some triangles right here. Okay. Now you want to see something cool? Watch this. I'm going to add... I'm going to take that dark, dark green. And look how he did on his. See how it's got just a couple of little zigzag lines, a couple of lines here and there? Let's try that out. So let's see. I'm going to become small. Let me make it a little bit small. All right. See how that helps that stand out just a little bit more? Pretty cool, huh? Let's move up a little bit. All right. Okay. Now let's see. I'm going to make this guy's gonna work. Watch what I just did. I just made this stem. You know what? I just messed that up. I'm gonna undo that. Boop. 
I'm going to make this stem go to here. I'm not drawing a very good line tonight. Ooh, come on. It's not very long. Like, why are you stopping? Because this flower is going to be in front of my flower I just did. Mm. All right, let's see. How do we do? That's pretty cool. All right, so now we've got to make this one. Now let's, let's zoom out and see what we're looking at. All right, we've got a lot of space over here. So maybe I'll make something that's kind of big and roundish. It's, maybe it's still got a few um, petals because I've got all this empty space. See how we used our space over here? So let's see. Let's, I'm going to make one of those big brown centers. Mm, need to make it a little bit bigger. This is the work smarter, not harder. Here we go. Make that big brown center. Uh, let's make it a little bit fatter. See how he's taking up a lot of space? Okay. Click. Let's find that. Okay, so it, oh my gracious, that's a little bit big, let's undo that. I'm going to put a couple of petals on it. And you know what, we're going to cover that up. You can't see how he's attached. Let's put it. I'm gonna put one more, maybe two more little petals here. And everybody else is falling off. Hmm. Ooh, it's an orange. Let's see. Scribbling here. That's fun. A couple of lines in here. How about we want to put a little bit of green in the center of that one? Hmm, I don't know. No crazy on that one, but that's okay. I always go back in and add some of that other color. Oh, hit the select button. Okay. Oh, and we need another uh, green leaf. So let's find that other green. Let's see. Let's make ourselves. That is a funky leaf. Let's see if we can change that. We're going to have to make our tool a little bit bigger here. And that's kind of a dark on a dark color, isn't it? So let's try maybe a lighter outline. What's that color? Ooh, that's too big. Undo that. That's a real buzzard snot green right there, isn't it? That's hideous. Hideous! Let's see if we get that dark green. I just like layering my colors. It just kind of it makes me happy. Here we go. Oh, he does not like dots. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's get 
covered that many notch there. Get all the greens and we might call this done. I lost the green. It's at the other end, isn't it? Here it is. Okay. Any of those little rough edges, you can kind of smooth them out. Yeah, okay, so what do you think? Should we tie them together with something or just leave them? We can just leave how about let's sign our name down here at the bottom? All right, pick a cut. Ooh, how about more? Ooh, that's gonna be bright. So down here at the bottom, got nice and small. And at the bottom corner, we'll put over here in the bottom right hand corner. Can you write your name? Yeah, it kind of helps my E a little bit, doesn't it? Here we go. And then we have made our flower. Let me go back. We made two flowers. I wonder how many flowers you're going to make. Hmm? I hope you have fun working with your sunflowers. I know I sure did. Um, I like experimenting with different kinds of... Uh, technology in order to create some of these really interesting pieces of artwork and I like working with Vincent van Gogh and all this incredible texture that he makes here we go they kind of look like scribbles but they're kind of cool aren't they I know all right well you have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see what you create with auto draw and your Vincent van Gogh sunflowers. Have a great day and keep creating.